During the Galactic Civil War, as Luke Skywalker trained to become a Jedi and topple the Galactic Empire, while also confronting the darkness within his father, Darth Vader, Luke faced the power of the dark side head on. In the Legends continuity, these struggles became even worse for Luke in the years that followed, as the resurrected Emperor Palpatine briefly turned Luke to the dark side. Luke was eventually redeemed by Leia, and he came to understand the Force in ways he never thought possible. Not only was he more powerful than he had ever been, but he was wiser. In the Legends Encyclopedia, Jedi vs. Sith, The Essential Guide to the Force, there is a passage written by Luke where he gives his unique thoughts on the dark side of the Force and why he thought that it could never be defeated. During my training with my master, Yoda, on Dagobah, I had a vision of Leia, Han, and Chewbacca in a city in the clouds. They were in pain. Yoda told me it was the future I'd seen, and that if I left Dagobah, I might help my friends or possibly destroy all for which they had fought and suffered. I chose to leave against the advice of both Yoda and the spirit of Obi-Wan Kenobi, who told me I would be tempted by the dark side. Somehow, they sensed I would confront Darth Vader at Cloud City. Obi-Wan had told me that Vader killed my father so I believed he thought I might be seeking revenge. I regret that I did not heed my master's cautions, that I took the situation personally and regarded it as something like a challenge. No matter what my master said, I actually believed that Han and Leia would die if I didn't go to them immediately. There was also the matter of dealing with Vader. It was so hard not to feel fear and anger at the thought of facing him. I didn't know if I could stop Vader, but I was prepared to sacrifice myself to save my friends. I thought the dark side was something I could handle, an adversary that I could ultimately conquer. I was wrong, and I walked right into Vader's trap. Vader had captured my friends to lure me to Cloud City. He was waiting for me, and I was unprepared for our duel. He didn't just beat me, he ruined me. And when he was done, he told me that he was not the man who'd killed my father. He was my father. He tempted me with the power of the dark side, invited me to join with him against the Emperor so that we could rule the galaxy together. And even though I was still in shock from the physical wounds inflicted by Vader as well as his monstrous claim, I sensed he was telling me the truth about our relationship. I also knew his invitation was legitimate. To my horror, it seemed, for a moment, that accepting his offer would be a logical move, the only one that might ensure I'd survive the hour. It even flashed through my mind that I could pretend to ally with him, then attempt to escape at a later time. Yet somehow, instinctively, I knew such a desperate plan would fail, and that I could never join him. I also knew that I had to get away from him immediately. Back on Dagobah, I'd never envisioned that I would be the one who needed to be rescued. I barely managed to escape Vader, and would have died if Leia hadn't responded to my telepathic plea. What did I accomplish at Cloud City? Except for gaining devastating knowledge about my lineage and the dark side's hold on my father, practically nothing. I didn't save Han, and I only further endangered Leia and the others on the Falcon by urging them to return to Cloud City to get me. In hindsight, I believe there was only one thing I'd done right. I'd refused Vader's offer. But there was little satisfaction in that at the time, for I had also learned that my masters were right, that my Jedi training was far from over, and that I was not immune to the dark side. Just as those who are not predisposed to dishonesty might fleetingly consider the thoughts of thieves, the noblest of force users are vulnerable to the dark side. You may not think yourself especially curious, easily angered, or envious, but the dark side is a strong seducer. It is a power that draws from subconscious fears, plays off innocent desires, and feeds off selfish thoughts to transform one into a living nightmare you will find at some point that the dark side will speak to you. It is seductive, offering you everything with little effort on your part. 
but you can identify it by your own emotions. If you use the knowledge of its presence for enlightenment to help others, it may be from the light side. But if you use it for your own advancement, out of anger or revenge, then the power is tainted. Don't use it. You will know when you are calm and passive. Master Yoda said that once you start down the dark path, it will forever dominate your destiny. And yet, during the time of Palpatine's return as a clone, I went over to the dark side. I did so for a variety of reasons, some of which seemed to make sense at the time, and many of which still cause me difficulty. But I had to do it. I had to know my father. I had to know why he chose the dark side. The powers of control and destruction weren't the only things I found in the dark side. I also found great isolation and sadness. I found fear. These are the feelings my father felt, the feelings even the Emperor felt in his moments of darkest triumph. What I experienced has given me an understanding of the dark side that is vital to the fight against it. More importantly, the love of my sister and my friends drew me back. It redeemed me. Even the foulest victim of the dark side can be redeemed. However, my experience also taught me that the dark side cannot be conquered no more than the light side can be extinguished. You can fight the dark side and even have victories, but the battle itself can never really end. Learn from the lessons others have endured, so their strength can become your strength. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and may the force be with you.